Bigger isn't always better, and the brand new Pentatone preamp from Ibanez is here to show you why. The Pentatone is an all-in-one high-gain preamp pedal, which lets you get that signature Ibanez high-gain tone on the go in just one pedal. You can plug that straight into any amplifier, use the clean channel, and you're talking insane amounts of gain. So the Pentatone includes a five band EQ, pre and post boost, built in noise gate, bright switches, and loads of other cool features. So when you're thinking who wants one of these, personally, I want one of these. This would answer a lot of problems for me and let me play straight out of the box with everything I need. So the pedal's in a very familiar format. We're talking a very rugged metal chassis. We've got quite a few different controls up the top. So at the top, we've got a noise gate here, which allows us to switch this on and off with the selectable switch. There's also a green LED, which indicates the amount of gain reduction we're getting. We've got the level control, which is your overall output, treble and bass, gain to control the master amount of gain we're gonna be adding to the uh, signal. Uh, the pre-boost, which acts as a boost before the signal hits the general gain staging. Same as having like a TS9 and what. We've got a post boost, which boosts the signal on the way out. And then we've got the five band parametric EQ. You can switch the EQ on and off with this little switch here. There's some nice little LEDs to help you kind of see this in the dark. Along with this, we've also got the foot switch for the on and for the bypass. You can also control this via an external foot switch, which will be connected at the back of the unit. So on the back of the unit, we've got a simple input, we've got an output, we've got the foot switch connection, and we've also got the power, which runs off a regular nine volt DC power supply. The preamp is very straightforward. Nothing we wouldn't expect to see, but the tones you're able to create in this are fantastic. Having the control of the parametric EQ is super, super helpful, particularly when you're using this as your entire heart of your sound. So I'm gonna use all of these features and put it to the test and see if I can create a high gain tone that I'm happy with. <laughs> So first things first, let's see what the default sound sounds like straight out of the box with everything kind of set to noon. Okay, so we've got a fairly, well, a fairly nice high gain sound to be fair, but I feel like we need to do some tonal shaping. I personally would need a little bit more gain there. Um, the pre-boost is already on, so we're getting quite a lot of signal into it before it's even hitting the amp stage but I'm gonna pull up the gain, so I'm kind of getting like harmonics a bit more singing. Cool, I mean, that sounds all better to me. It's a lot easier to hit certain things. Um, I've got a guitar tuned quite low, so generally you're gonna get a lot more low end, so I might compensate some of this, but I'll probably do that via the parametric EQ, as this is a super, super helpful tool. With most modeling amps and a lot of modern amps, you end up using you know, a graphic equalizer or a parametric anyway, or your front of house sound engineer will likely be doing something similar to get rid of a lot of things. So when you're using these kind of amps, they're producing frequencies that wouldn't necessarily be captured via a microphone on a cab. So let's have a little look. So you can rotate this here and it shows you the different frequency band that it's dealing with. It's between 1.5K and 14.5. So as you pan this, you can adjust that. So I'm gonna set this in about the middle, pull that down a little bit, just to take some of the top end scratchiness out. So as you can see, when I boosted that, there's quite a lot of fizz. And that's something we kind of want to pull out. So it's trying to find a balance between, you know, keeping that in there and not making it sound like it's squashed into a box, but also not be horrible, particularly when you boost up to high volumes. So I kind of want to get a bit more body in this tone. So I'm probably going to boost the second band. 
Find somewhere about 250, give it a little bit of extra. Okay, cool, that sounds pretty good to me. Maybe pull a little bit of this high end in, or, you know, we all know 4K is usually a bit of a problem with guitars, so I might just pan this band here and see if we can slide it up and down and see if that helps. So now I've taken a little bit of the top end away, I'm actually gonna boost the treble control, because this is acting as a global setting, so, I've kind of pulled out a little bit of problem frequencies here, so generally we can give it a bit of a, a boost in the top end without affecting any of those kind of troublemakers. Okay, so let's have a little look at the gate control. It's a super useful feature because the majority of people who are using high gain amps are going to experience a lot of noise from the amps. Or, you know, in between playing, you need it to be quiet. I think that's one of those defining things that can make the difference between seeming professional and not, you know, having that noise between playing. So having the onboard gate feature is super helpful. As I mentioned earlier in the video, we've got the little green indicator, which is showing when the gate is engaged. So as you can see, when I play, it kind of kicks in fairly quickly. And this can be adjusted by changing the parameter. See, so as you see the threshold, it kind of pulls thing and takes away some of the noise there. So I want to set that to a reasonable level where it's not going to actually take anything away from the playing, but it's going to be kind of used to my advantage to kind of clean things up a little bit. So I'm just going to look at this little bright switch here. The bright switch can add you know, more of the top end frequencies. If you've got you know, a particularly low tuned guitar or if you've got quite a dark sounding guitar, you know, it could be really, really helpful. You know, even, for example, say your strings are a little bit dead and you haven't had a chance to restring, this could be a useful tool to kind of bring some of that life back in. I mean, that sounds awesome. I'm actually going to keep that on because it sounds great. But now that we've put that on, I want to put a little bit more body back in. I mean, that sounds awesome. We've also got the post boost. So the post boost acts as a boost of the signal on the output. So how I'm running this pedal here is the only distortion sound you are hearing and the only tonal shaping is coming from this pedal. This pedal is running directly into the normal input of an amplifier with the EQ set to noon, no kind of additional shaping going on. Post boost allows you to boost the signal that you're sending out into your amplifier. So that gate is super helpful, like I said. We can also mess with the gain, turn it up and down. I'm personally quite happy with this, but let's have a little look and see what happens if we turn the pre-boost off and then we roll the gain back a bit. So that's the pre-boost off. And then roll the gain back. So yeah, you still get some like very nice breakup tones where you're just about to kind of hit. But you know, for me, this pedal really, really screams for the high end, high gain modern players. <laughs> 
So that was just a quick look at the new Pentatone pedal, and you saw how easy that was for me to make a quick tone. And honestly, this thing sounds great. There's so much gain in it, and it's in such a compact and rugged pedal. It's a fantastic addition to any pedal board. So this thing is great for, you know, maybe even downscaling your pedal boards, removing some of your other pedals, but you could throw this in a bag, throw it in a pedal board, and take that with you anywhere. That's Ibanez's signature high gain tone anywhere you go. This thing's incredible. I've been Lucas Gab. Thanks for staying with us today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.